Hey, welcome to 209coach.com. I want to do a video for you on detail, why, why detail matters. And it's very crucial that if you really want to develop your swing, that you understand that it is a process. It does not happen overnight, especially if you have bad swing flaws. It is a process, okay? Don't rush it. It takes months, okay? And sometimes even longer, depending on the player, how much time you have. But this video right here is about details to focus on if you're trying to make some swing changes, okay? This is crucial for you as a player to understand that if you look at the best players in the world from opposite side batter box used to one degree or another you're going to notice that they pretty much all do the same thing whether it be MLB elite or NCAA travel ball whatever the best players will pretty much all be doing the same thing because the body has to work in a certain manner in order for you to catch up with the highest velocity pitching you're going to face against the leagues you play on okay so let's focus on some of the details that are going on in this young lady's swing right here, okay? Now, the first thing I want you to focus on is this. Now, this is not direct opposite side batter's box view. And by that, I mean this. It, this, this would be direct opposite side batter's box view. The home plate was like this. The home plate is kind of like this, okay? So you're not going to get the true angles of what's going on, but you're going to get a good idea what I'm referring to, okay? So right now, we can see it's very obvious that her hands are between her neck and her delta. Okay, and this is what you want and what this produces it produces a very beautiful comfortable setup And this is what you want. You want to be very relaxed at your setup You don't want any tension and you also want to have a vertical bat again This is not direct opposite side batter's box view, but if it was the bat would be vertical just like this Okay, so again, you want to have relaxed arms hands between the neck and the deltoid and you want to have a vertical bat this is very important for you, again, to start off in a very comfortable setup, therefore allowing your body, your wrist to work correctly, okay? And the reason why I bring up this issue about being very relaxed, because what happens with a lot of players, if you don't start with your hands in the proper manner, in other words, with your bat being very tilted either this way, and I see players with their bats even leaning back, your wrist will not work efficiently as you get into your swing, okay? Now, once you get yourself set up correctly and everything like this, the main thing I want you to focus on right now as far as the detail of what's going on, you can notice it's very obvious that her top hand, her palm, is facing in the direction of the pitcher, okay? By doing so, that's just, well, that is what produces that vertical bat I was referring to, therefore allowing you to use your wrist correctly as you get into your forward move. Now, one thing you'll notice, too, with the best players in the world, they do a very good job of controlling or maintaining their stride so they do not commit to pitches that they don't want to hit. Now, focus what's going on right now just on the lower body. Notice where her belt buckle is. Right now, it's facing opposite side batter's box view. And as she starts to coil the back leg, the back hip, it's very obvious now that it's facing towards the catcher. Again, what you want to do is feel like you're coiling the back hip, the back leg, and you want to do this with very, very smooth tempo. And while you're doing this, again, it's very crucial, like I always bring up in my videos, do this in front of a mirror, do this in front of a reflection so that you know that you're doing this correctly. Let your mirror be your best friend in the development and the process of building your swing, okay? So again, watch what's going on. The hands right now, pop, top palm right now is facing towards the pitcher. Very relaxed. We're just focusing on the lower body. Feel like you're coiling your back hip, your back leg, and just feel like almost like you're screwing your back leg in, or your back foot into the ground, okay? Just feel this. Feel like you're staying almost 100% of your weight on your back leg. Do this very slowly, very methodically. When you're looking in the mirror, as you start to get into your swing, you should start to notice like your tailbone is starting to face the pitcher, and that is just the cause and effect of your back leg, your back hip being coiled. You will notice that if you're looking in the mirror, your belt buckle should be facing the mirror. And as you start to do this move, your belt buckle should be voice, uh, facing in the direction if you had a catcher behind you, okay? This is crucial. Again, do this very slowly and methodically. You don't want to do this abruptly. You want to do this very slowly and methodically where you're coiling the back hip and the back leg. You should really feel you're like your back hip, your back leg is really loaded and your tailbone would be facing almost like you see here in this video right here. 
Okay, now simultaneously as you're doing this, again, like I said, it's crucial to start with your palm facing the pitcher. As you do this, I want you now, as you're coiling the lower body simultaneously, as you start your forward move, I want you to get your palm to face from the pitcher to as you get into your toe touch is now facing in a downward manner. Now notice what's going on here. Her palm went from facing the pitcher to now is literally facing down in front of the home plate. So when you're doing this particular video, when you're watching this video, do this in front of the mirror and I want you to, again, I cannot emphasize this enough, with very smooth tempo, extremely smooth tempo, as you're coiling the back hip, the back leg, feel like 100% of your weight is staying in your backside. Even though it feels this way, your body will transfer naturally, but you want to feel like you're staying back. Again, when you're doing this, with the pullback, it's crucial that you do pullback with the top hand from 1 to 10, maybe a level 1, 2, or 3 as far as pressure of the top hand applying this move. And watch what's going on right here. Her palm faces the pitcher to goes to facing downward in front of the home plate, okay? This produces the ability for you to use your body correctly. Notice her back elbow. As she does her this move, because she's allowing the, the palm to face the pitcher to facing down, notice how her back elbow works back and behind her from going down to back and behind you. Now, if you do this correctly in front of the mirror, just start like the way this young lady is right now with your elbow down. And as you start to stride very slowly and methodically, feel like you're spilling a cup. In other words, if I told you you have a cup in your hand and I want you to spill it in front of the home plate, okay, where your palm is facing kind of downward. Now, obviously, you can't uh, turn it all the way around because you have both hands in the bat, but I definitely want to see this process of your top hand facing the pitcher as you coil the back hip, the back leg, and as you're pulling back, I want to see the palm facing downward towards the pitcher. Now this will produce a very nice bat angle where the bat will be facing towards the area of the catcher just like this, okay? So it went from being vertical to now is facing the catcher's area. Now again, if you maintain the pullback, and this is the hard part right here, maintaining the pullback. Many players can get to this place over and over, but they cannot get this angle once they get to hill plant. Now she's at hill plant right now and notice how the bat is still facing in the area of the catcher. Notice how her shoulders are still pointing in the area of the second baseman, okay? Again, watch what's going on, and I'm going to just slow this down for you so you understand what should occur, the details of what should happen. As you get into your toe touch, okay, you should do one, like I asked you to do, let the palm face down. As you get into your toe touch, you're going to have a shoulder to shoulder to elbow look like I always talk, in my vi talk about in my videos, and you're also going to have your shoulders pointing in the direction of the second baseman. But if you maintain, if you maintain the pullback, you will notice here, like you see with this young lady right here, watch what's going on here. At toe touch, the bat, again, at heel plant, is almost pointing identically, okay? Her shoulders are still pointing in the area of the second baseman, and the bat is still pointing in the area of the catcher's area. This will show you, shows me as a coach, that you are maintaining the pullback. If you do not maintain the pullback, what happens is, what I see with a lot of players, the bat, instead of facing like this, like you see here with this young lady, the bat will literally face either this way and even sometimes face this way, okay? And also, too, the bat will be very flat because instead of the palm still facing in the direction like this, the palm is facing either this way or upwards, therefore producing bat drag. You do not want to have your palm doing anything at this stage, but at toe touch and at heel plant, you still want it to be facing downward. This produces a very elite hand path. It produces a very powerful swing. Again, all I want you to do, again, set up. Feel like you're coiling the back hip, the back leg simultaneously. I want you to just get that top hand, make it face like it's facing downward. Watch what's going on with her swing right here. This is just beautiful right here. Now, one drill that I recommend for you to do 
over and over as you get into that back hip thrust, as you get into that hip rotation, okay, as you coil, as you're starting to get ready to hit, just do this over and over. When you're looking in the mirror, see that your shoulders are still pointing to the area of the second baseman. Feel like your bat is still point, uh, pointing in the direction of the catcher. This right here is a beautiful drill to train your body to maintain the pullback, to have the correct angles, to have tremendous, tremendous bat speed. Now watch what's going on. Because she maintains the pullback in such an elite manner, watch how her bat speed is behind her. Look, look at this. This is so elite right here. This is going to allow you to be able to catch up to pitches that a lot of players cannot catch up to. Now watch what's going on right here. The ball is coming in right here. And even if she was to catch it a little bit a little bit late, even this like this stage of the swing right here, watch what's going on right here. As she starts to go one more frame here, she still has the opportunity to do something with the ball. In other words, what happens with a lot of players is when they're swinging incorrectly, their bat speed, instead of being where it is with her, where her bat speed is kind of behind her like this, you see a lot of players where their bat speed is literally somewhere over here, okay, and as the pitch starts to come in, they have no chance to catch up to elite pitching, okay? So in other words, by doing this particular drill allows you to have your bat speed back here, back here, and not up down here, okay, not in this area, therefore giving you a far greater area for you to catch up to high elite pitching. Now, if you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and the bottom line in this is just pay attention to detail, pay attention to where your hands are, Pay attention to what's going on with your lower body. Maintain the pullback as your palms facing downward. And again, this drill right here, just do this over and over where your shoulders are pointing to the second baseman, your bat is pointing to the catcher, well into toe touch and heel plant. And I guarantee you that if you can get yourself to be at this stage right here, at hill plant that they're still pointing in the area of the second baseman and that your bat is still pointing in this way that you will start to do the have the beginning of a very elite swing again give me a like and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much